A tetrachord can be defined as a four note pattern consisting of two whole steps followed by a half step. Simply put, tetrachords always follow the same pattern, whole step, whole step, half step. A tetrachord can be constructed on any note, but we will begin with a tetrachord built on C. The tetrachords will be presented in a sequence that are five letter names apart. For example, the next tetrachord shown is built on G. G is five consecutive letter names C, D, F, G above C, and therefore the next tetrachord in the sequence. The five letter names are called a perfect fifth and are seven half steps apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A perfect fifth is the integral name. Let's look at the G tetrachord. Whole step, whole step, half step. C and G tetrachord are the only tetrachords that are built using only white keys. Let's build some tetrachords. The first one we're going to do is review the one starting on G. G, whole step, whole step, and I've put slurs where all the half steps are going to go. And we have a C. That's pretty straightforward. Next one, D is a fifth above, or a perfect fifth above G. Whole step above. Now, now we're going to go to the next note. We need another whole step look at the keyboard here just to help us out. So we go from E and we need a whole step. A whole step is going to be F sharp. So what we need to do is raise F to F sharp so that we can have the proper um, note in our tetrachord formation or pattern. So we've got F sharp. So now that fits. And then automatically, because we have an F sharp there, we've created a half step, so we're good to go. Super, so there's your touch chord on D, and it has one F sharp. Now, perfect fifth above D is A. So let's build a touch chord starting on A. Whole step above A is B, and let's go, and we know that whole step above B, let's have B over here, we have to take C and raise it to C sharp. So I'm going to do that. And then, of course, um, half step above C sharp is D, so we're done. So now we have a tetrachord on A. So we can see that we're starting to build a little bit of a pattern here. So the next one, a perfect fifth above A, is E. So E. And so we've gone, we need a whole step above here. So let's E to F. We know it's not a whole step, it's a half step. So we need to take the F and make it sharp. Now we need another whole step above F sharp. So we have to take the G and make it sharp. So let's do that. And then a half step above G sharp is A, and we're done. B is a perfect fifth above E. So I'm just gonna play through these. Then the perfect fifth above B is F sharp. And then perfect fifth above F sharp is tetrachord that's built on C sharp. And we can see that it's all sharp. And the same one built on G sharp. So far, we've introduced tetrachords that have sharps in them. And if we go up the grand piano and perfect fifths, we have the keys in red here. If we start at the top of the grand piano and go down in perfect fifths, we're going to have tetrachords that have lots in them. And that's what we're going to go over next, are the tetrachords that have flats in them. Look at the tetrachord on F. When we were on A, Next letter note, letter name was B, and what we had to do to create a half step was take the B and make it flat. A perfect fifth down from F on the keyboard is B flat.
So a whole step above B flat is C, and C to D a whole step, and then we have to make the E flat to create a half step. Start with E flat. Now then we go down a perfect fifth from B flat on the keyboard, and we have E flat. Whole step above E flat is F. Then we're just going to play through all the other touch chords. And we can see that the G flat tet tetrachord and the C flat tetrachord are all flat. There we have it. The next section is going to take the tetrachords and construct scales. We're going to go over the seven major sharp scales or keys and the seven major flat scales or keys. We're also going to go over the order of sharps and the order of flats.